Growing up was tough, you know, without a father. I had my grandfather and his brother and some cousins of my mom's um, kind of try to intervene in my life. And it played a more significant role not having a father figure growing up. It kind of messed with me mentally, you know, made me have issues with trying to want to fit in. So my parents divorced um, when I was really young. Most of my life, my mom, she worked very hard, but she secretly had an addiction to drugs. I started selling drugs to begin with, then got curious of why people liked it so much. So I tried it one time and 10 years later, I was in a mess. So my mom um, had a boyfriend and from the time that I was five, there was some sexual abuse that took place. I, I never said anything about it to my mom. I was so ashamed. Going into high school, um, my freshman year, I was pregnant. I was doing everything that I shouldn't have been doing. I ended up having an abortion in the ninth grade. I started using heroin at around 19. It was tough doing it. I was always afraid of needles and, you know, never wanted to be that person. But I ended up being that person. My impression of Jared when I first met him was that he really wanted to change his life. My counselor at the Overcomer Center was like a father figure to me. He came along beside of me. He dug some things out of me that I, I didn't even really know that I was struggling with at the time. He helped me with forgiveness towards people. He helped me seek out forgiveness for myself and for the things that I had done to other people. At Renewal, I learned about all of my wounds that I had, just how deep they were. The counselor had me write letters to my children that I had aborted, and there was a lot of freedom in that. I also had to write a letter to my mom's ex-boyfriend who sexually abused me, which was really hard for me to do. But I can say today with a clear head and a clear heart that I truly forgive him because I know that there are hurting people out there and hurting people hurt people. Hannah and I met when we were in transition at Celebrate Recovery. Normally we ask that people in Overcomers don't mix with people in renewal. Nevertheless, they learned each other's story. They both saw God working in each other, and they were drawn together. I knew I wanted to marry Jared when he asked me, just because of how genuine he was, how he was this uh, gentle giant. I know that grace and peace was very important, particularly in Hannah's life. They were just a very loving family, environment, a Christian church that, that embraced them as family. I had women go shopping with me for my dress. My family couldn't be here because they're so far away. Tim Udodge, he married us here in this church and, and we just had so many people, you know, just come beside us and just help make it happen. Anna has learned a lot about believing that she's worth loving and that she is a daughter of Father God and that, that she ought to be respected. One of the biggest differences that I've seen in Jared is that he has become a much more gentle person. I've seen him change from being self-centered to being God-centered. The God that I know extends grace, mercy, and forgiveness. I know that he loves me and that I'm his child and he's a great father. I just want people to know that there is hope, there is forgiveness, there is love, there is a hand waiting for you to grab to be picked up from where you are. Our hope for our family is that we just continue to flourish um, and grow, try to lead by example and to strive to be more and more like him.